Hi guys, it's story time. Story time. But um, yeah, I'll share about the time I got dengue fever, and I am one of the lucky ones who got it. I used to think that I wouldn't get it. Like, who would be that unlucky to get it? But I did. And many people have been asking, like, how is it like? Do you feel pain? Etc. So I'm gonna share with you my experience with dengue fever. So, um, I did not realize that I had dengue fever in the sense that I don't think that I realized that I was bitten by a dengue mosquito because I didn't see much mosquito bites on my body. But okay, let me tell you how. I found out that I got dengue fever. Okay, so like I, I had uh at camp. Okay. So I came back from camp and then after that I thought it was because of the camp that I had like freaking fever. So maybe it's fatigue or what, I don't know. So what happened was that I went to the doctors after a few days. I was alright and then the fever ke keeps coming back, you know, like I was okay, then after that it comes back again. It keeps coming back and forth. I don't know if that makes sense, but so I recovered, then after that it came back again. But I didn't feel like it was anything bad. So Monday comes and then my friends come and play we play we. <laughs> I spent a whole day playing we. Even though I had dengue fever. Wow. But I think mine was the mild kind it was not really bad I could still play we crazy but so we just played and I was really tired but I still continued anyway because fun was more important to me <laughs> yeah <laughs> but that's what happened and I think I felt really tired on Tuesday like the following day and after that I just stayed on the bed and I kept on sleeping yeah the rashes I mean I had rashes on my face like after the camp like I really thought that it was from like the camp yeah but it had like it looks like pimples like I had a lot on my face like boom <laughs> like it was a lot and after that I told my brother about it but he, he didn't say it was anything because he had dengue before and he said that it was not dengue rashes so I didn't pay any attention to that. I went to see a doctor because my lymph nodes were swollen. So I mean like I thought it was like an infection or what. So I mean if you want to search on one of those lymph nodes, you don't know what lymph nodes, go search on it. But yeah, my the like I felt like the bone behind my ear was swollen. So I went to get myself checked, I got some antibiotics, but no sign of dengue. Nobody knows dengue. What happened was that a few days later, the rashes started coming out. Like, I didn't realize I was just like in front of my computer, like always. And then I realized that like uh, my elbows were red, and then my knees were red. I mean, I just start, started scratching and like, hmm. I'm like, wait, wait, why does it feel so hot? It feels warm. And then after that, hey, this. Rashes look familiar like Hey bro, I've seen you before. No, but I mean they're not my friends Duh, but They are acquaintances. No, um, what I'm trying to say is I've seen that on my brother's feet and uh, Legs before so I sort of know how to identify how they look like I don't want to insert a picture like If you want to see it, you can go see you can go go search but yeah I don't want to scare anyone but so if you want to see it you can search it on Google what happened was that I went to like inform my mom and just like okay let's go and see another doctor because the first one didn't realize I had dengue and then but this goes to show that when people have dengue fever they don't usually have all the symptoms. My blood platelets were not abnormal. 
Yeah. I went for blood test and it was okay. So they couldn't confirm there was dengue fever. Yep. But I need to go back the next day to get myself checked. But being myself, don't like needles, I don't like blood tests. I hate blood tests. Yeah, I hate blood tests. So, I didn't go back. I mean, if you're like me, don't do that. Yeah, I mean, if you're sick, go and get yourself checked. Don't be like me. But I hate, I hate it. I hate it so much. So I didn't go. And, yep, um, I was telling my, my best friend about how I felt sick but didn't want to see a doctor and he scolded me really badly. Maybe I deserve a scolding, but <laughs> anyway. So that was how I went down and uh, I was sick for almost a week and I lost a lot of weight because I had no appetite to eat at all. It was just porridge or oh, I couldn't eat proper food for quite some time. And when I <laughs> when I was okay, the first thing I craved was salmon sashimi. That's my one true love. <laughs> yes. I missed it so much and it was so good to be able to eat again.